Of all the health issues that confront us as a country, Australia's obesity epidemic is by far the most avoidable. But with all kinds of new technologies making our lifestyles more sedentary by the day and mass-produced processed foods, as a population, we are literally consuming more energy than we use. So the question is, what can we do about it? With so many diets on the market that simply make you feel like you're failing and surgery for a lot of people is just simply too scary. Well, there's a new kid on the block where development and technology started this process. Science is lending a hand to help empower people towards a wellness revolution. In the 21st century, modern Australia is an incredible mix of races, religion and nationalities. We're all Aussies, but we're all different. So faced with the national health crisis like obesity, it's just silly to think that a one-size-fits-all approach to weight loss is going to work. Because everyone's genetic backgrounds are linked to the way that they enjoy and metabolise their diet, and no one knows this more intimately than Associate Professor Les Shedfield. There's over a hundred different obesity genes and that genetic signal has been associated with people. It puts on uh, weight more easily. Professor Sheffield and his son are the founders of MyDNA. Working with scientists right around the world and here in Australia, they specialise in something called nutrigenomics, a new science that genetically tests people for obesity and tailors a diet that may be best suited for their body. I get so excited as a nutritionist and just someone who loves help to think that in this little kit, I can find out more about my genes and how they're going to impact my diet. Looks quite innocent, doesn't it? The test is very simple and safe. The sterile swab is rubbed on each cheek and then posted to the lab where it takes around two weeks before you get your results, along with a phone consultation and advice. Alan, I can see in your hands there's my results from the nutrigenomic test. I'm yes. very excited and somewhat nervous. <laughs> yes, quite interesting results. Hard to believe, but you've actually got the red wow. FDO gene. So what that means is that um, when you eat, you might find that you don't actually feel full at the end. Right? I just thought that was because I'm very active. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I mean, there's many factors, but it's, it's genetics and science has shown that that's actually people with this gene, they tend to... Um, not feel full after eating, so they tend to sort of snack a lot in okay. between meals. By analysing my DNA, the test also uncovers that my body has a propensity to store excessive calories as fats and indicates what my ideal dietary balance should be. That is pretty much exactly how I eat. Ex ex excellent, right. excellent. So, Thank God I'm a nutritionist, yeah. I can say. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Another gene they tested for me was a gene that indicates susceptibility to high cholesterol. So that's a that's a really important gene to be testing. You know, when we see that you know cholesterol is a precursor for so many other things. Most people don't go and get their cholesterol yeah. tested on a on a especially males on a you know on an yes. annual sort of cycle. This is true. This so is true. so for me, it actually prompted me to go to the doctor and my cholesterol was getting on the high side. So, so it allows you to, I guess, I guess, be proactive about your health. I mean, the whole idea of this genetics is to empower people so they can make better decisions and more informed decisions. There were definitely times as a kid that I struggled with my weight and my mum was absolutely someone who had weight issues, but never in a million years did I think it was my genes that was dictating that weight gain. It really goes to show that lifestyle has a huge impact overall. So when it comes to Australia's obesity epidemic, nutrigenomics is a new and very powerful tool that we can use in our battle against the bulge.